I'm an interventional cardiologist and we treat patients with heart problems. Uh, without uh, doing open heart surgery, we put little tubes in arteries and veins and pass them through the body to the heart. Normally when people have severe damage to one of their heart valves, uh, they would uh, have to think about having open heart surgery, which is a pretty big uh, procedure uh, still these days. And we, we have uh, been involved in developing a way of replacing heart valves without doing open heart surgery by, by uh, utilizing uh, 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 miniaturized or compressed heart valves that can be placed through, uh, through small holes and in, into the blood vessels and into the heart without actually opening up the chest. In Vancouver, we were the first group to uh, successfully put these valves in through the arteries into the aortic valve position and, and a few other new developments in terms of valve implantation. And over the years, we've you know, developed the techniques and taught many other groups how to do this and, uh, and published pretty extensively on, on the uh, results of this and uh, follow, following up uh, hundreds of patients. Well, I think things are changing very rapidly. For instance, with the aortic valve, which is the one we're most involved with, um, these patients are often elderly and open heart surgery really takes a lot out of them. Uh, so this is a procedure that's much less invasive, patients mobilize quicker. It looks as though the outcomes are comparable or, or maybe even better than open heart surgery with uh, a lot less uh, 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 downtime for the patients. I felt great 10 minutes after the surgery was finished. I had no repercussion from that part of it at all. I joined the Healthy Heart program again and uh, that was six months, but I've also now back playing golf and uh, hopefully in the fall I'll curl again. And I curl and, and golf three to four days a week. Uh, this uh, procedure started in uh, Vancouver, but really it's expanded around the world. There's now uh, um, many centers in Canada doing this in the major cities anyway. And uh, uh, there's uh, you know, over 25,000 of these procedures performed around the world to date, so it's become, become a very widely accepted and a much more common procedure than just a couple of years ago. I think the impact of his research has already been tremendous. Uh, I'm told that in Europe more than half of all the cases of um, valve replacement uh, are done now. Uh, the technique that was pioneered by Dr. Webb I believe the same will happen in North America. And maybe at one day, the open heart surgery will no longer be necessary. Do you want to go uh, forward on the pump? The, the reason this program has succeeded is because of the teamwork involved. We've had great support from uh, nursing and surgery and administration. And I think, to be honest, that uh, developing a program and these procedures would not have been possible without this, this foundation of, uh, of support within uh, Providence Healthcare in St. Paul's.